Edwards' head jerked up at the noise, the distinctive roar of jet fighters. He saw a dark trail of smoke approaching in from the east, and the silhouettes passed within a mile. The shapes were heavy with ordnance, the up-angled wingtips making identification easy. F-4s! He hooted. There are guys! They were phantom jets of the New York Air National Guard, configured as wild weasel sand pillars. While Russian attention was on the converging bomber raid, they skimmed over hilltops and down valleys, using the crenellated landscape to mask their low-level approach. The backseat crewmen in each aircraft counted the missile radars, selecting the most dangerous targets. When they got to within 10 miles of Keflavik, they popped up high and fired a salvo of standard arm anti-radar missiles. The Russians were caught by surprise. Laboring to direct missile fire at the bombers, they didn't expect a two-part raid. The incoming missiles were not detected. Three of the arms found targets, killing two search radars and a missile launch vehicle. One launch commander turned his vehicle around and trained manually on the new threat. The Phantoms jammed his fire control radar, leaving behind a series of chaff clouds as they came in at 30-foot height. As each pilot raced to the target area assigned to him, he conducted a hasty visual search. One saw an undamaged SAM launcher and streaked toward it, dropping rock-eye cluster bomb canisters that fell short but spread over a hundred bomblets all over the area. The SA-11 launcher exploded in his wake. Its crew never knew what had happened. A thousand yards beyond it was a mobile anti-aircraft gun vehicle. A Phantom engaged it with his own cannon, badly damaging it as he swept across the rest of the peninsula and escaped back over the sea. A cloud of chaff and flares in his wake. All four aircraft were gone before the Soviet missile crews were able to react. The two SAMs that were launched exploded harmlessly in chaff clouds. The battery had lost two-thirds of its launcher vehicles and all of its search radars. Three of the mobile guns were also destroyed or damaged. It was a letter-perfect weasel mission. 